there's a question from the YouTube <coughs> from Brother Faizan. I am just 22 years old and I am dealing with anxiety. What should I do? But the Faizan is suffering from anxiety. The Quran says in Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43 and Surah Ambiya chapter number 21 verse 7. Fasalu ahali zikri in kundum la talam. If you don't know, ask the person who's knowledgeable, ask the person who's an expert in the field. If you are suffering from anxiety, my request would be that first to go to a qualified doctor or you may have to go to a psychiatrist if you know it's anxiety. And if you have done all the tests and if you know, then go to a specialist and he will try and identify what is the cause of anxiety. And based on the test he does, he will give you some suggestions. He may, he may have a sitting with you. He may try and find out what is the reason. But naturally, going to a person who is a specialist is important. At the same time, one of the best cure for anxiety is reading the Quran along with its meaning. Because, Alhamdulillah, the Quran is the most positive book in the world. It is a fountain of, fountain of mercy and wisdom. It's an assurance to those in doubt. It's a solace to the suffering. It's a hope to those in despair. It is one of the best book a human being can read. So when you read the glorious Quran along with its translation, you will find that the words in the Quran, it has a soothing effect to a normal human being as well as to a person suffering from anxiety. And many a times what is troubling in your mind when you read the Quran, the reply is there in the Quran. The Quran is a very good treatment. As the Quran says, there is Shifa in the Quran, and there are verses in the Quran. In Surah Isra chapter 17, verse 31, it says, And the Quran, in the Quran, there is healing for mankind, for the believers. So, one of the treatment is that you read the Quran along with its translation. Read it in the translation, read the translation. In the language you understand the best, whether it be English, whether it be Hindi, whether it be Bangla, whether it be Urdu. But at the same time, see to it that you go to a specialist, a doctor or a psychiatrist and have your checkup, get your diagnosis. You may never know, there may be a hormonal imbalance. For example, you may be having hypothyroidism. So once you do the test of TSH and T3, T4 and you come to know there are some hormonal uh, balances, <laughs> imbalances, you take a tablet and it's cured. So doing a proper physical checkup, going to an expert and finding out what the cause, it may be a simple medication which can solve your problem. It may not be that simple. You may require a sitting with a psychiatrist. You may require some guidance. You may require some, uh, some sessions. So this you have to do, along with it, you read the translation of the Quran, inshallah, that will cure your anxiety and your problem, inshallah.